नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम टू ये Gupta makes her debut here on Take Three. This time around, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pick up two issues. Both are around Prime Minister Narendra Modi, but one is within, and the other one is the face to the world. So, two aspects: the PM's trip to Ukraine. We'll talk about. But first, Modi 3.0, Rahul and Shivani has seen the kind of rollbacks that has not been seen in a decade of Modi. Perhaps the farm laws were the only ones. The latest one is this rollback that's on forty posts. The fact that this entire reservation issue is not there. Now, this lateral entry, anyways, is a temporary arrangement, three-year contract, max five years. But the noise that's been made around, the way it was back. What do you? First and foremost, there's an assessment within government that um, the. Whole business of the opposition's changing. That I think they have realized that that cost them. Now, if you really look at the math, the math suggests that uh, around 40 reserve seats, right, uh, they bungled on because of supposedly this sort of posturing by the opposition. Some Vidhan badal denge. Yes, so. Hmm. Out of the 90 seats that they have lost over last time, around 40 were those seats where there was either reserve seats or where there were predominant number of other backward castes or SCs or STs. So obviously the government has realized this, and it has become their Achilles' heel. They don't want to make that mistake. So you're seeing this rollback on this particular lateral entry issue, which for me signifies diffidence, vulnerability. And also a heightened anxiety, which uh, comes straight from electoral prospects. So they are worried that they are going to lose more. But just let's look at some issues here. You know, it's very easy to blame the government constantly. Let's just invert this. And I put out a tweet some days ago, which seemed to suggest that look, there was a lot of traction. There's a lot of debate around that tweet. About two hundred fifty thousand views came. On that tweet, because look, first of all, let's be very honest. Forty-five domain experts you are taking into government is hardly going to undermine the social justice provisions that are in the constitution. Look, when there are people being taken in from outside of government to block posts, there is reservation. That is something that I had put out. Various uh, addendums, government mm. orders have been put out there. It is only in the case of one post. If you go post by post in different ministries, where this will not apply, because these are for specific reasons, and it's not as if the opposition has not done this earlier. This system of taking in talent from outside for a single post for a limited period of time began in the 70s and has continued right through and through. Many people will point to the NAC, for example, hmm. and say, "Look, now the point is the opposition, but the posture." Think about this. Yes, the government has pulled back. Predominantly, it has to be blamed for pulling back what is a very good and time-tested policy. But fundamentally, the gain is accruing to the opposition. It would help the bureaucracy to lift its game. That was the idea. Hmm. Better governance, better bureaucracy, better functioning bureaucracy, more responsive bureaucracy, more attentive bureaucracy means. Better governance. Who does better governance help? Hmm. People like us, hmm. who have an interface at every level with government. Let's let's go to the they're, next they're, point. Farm huh. laws. Hmm. Okay, farm laws are pulled back after massive agitation. Most of the facets of the farm law that was part of the bill, or the three bills, were already promised in 2019 by the Congress in its manifesto. So they are pulled back. What was the reason that the farm laws were being contemplated to boost farmer incomes, double them by some estimate? Some people said it could even be more, and the benefit, the knock-on benefit to GDP, would have been about three percent. That's what was estimated. Now you remove those. That's not happening. The additional income would have boosted what consumption? So, so you're saying? No, no. Just one second. Let me just finish. Thirty seconds more. Haan. It would have boosted consumption. What is the real problem in economy today? Three years down the line, it's consumption. Consumption. Who would have benefited with a buoyant economy? Yeah. All of us. More jobs, this, that, the other. Then let's look at the work of 
issue. Correct. What is the Wakaf Amendment doing? It was to resolve the oldest fault lines in our society, where one group of people are so privileged, at least appear to be privileged, to another set of people which breeds resentment. What does resentment lead to? Again, social strife, anarchy, and it would have hurt. But so largely, you're saying this whole role. Bharat has lost. Yeah, Bharat has lost. With and who you might blame? And it's happening because of the electoral reversals. Shivani, you know, just uh, before I get on to the UPSC thing, because he mentioned Vakaf, let me just say that I was a little bit surprised that the PM actually mentioned a uniform civil code, mm. given that nobody feels Sarkar can actually push a legislation like uniform civil code. Interestingly, he called it secular civil code. The prime minister it for the first time from uh, hmm. the ramparts of the Red Fort and during an Independence Day speech, you know, uh, means he's putting his capital behind that contentious legislation which we've been debating for I don't know how many years. But coming to the UPSC issue, I think we need to accept that realities have shifted. You can quibble about how much they have shifted. You can quibble about which reality has shifted, how much, but realities have shifted. And, you know, it would be convenient, Rahul, to blame the opposition here alone. Let's not forget the BJP had two of its allies breathing down its neck when it, as when it comes to this mm. advertisement. So the BJP no longer has the cop out to say that, see, the opposition is the only one that is doing negative politics. That reality has shifted for them. Mm. Right? They've got to contend with the fact that they've got, you know, partners that they need who are going to create problems for them mm. for time but, to time. But, here's, here, yeah, but okay, there's okay, also, yeah. of course, the point of then what kind of a Sarkar do we get? I think this UPSC episode, if it is making me think about anything, it is, okay, what kind of governance will I get for the next year? That has become a real question now. Well, what uh, me, like you say, Bharat has lost, right? You need to have your courage of conviction. Uh, there used to be uh, a very senior person I respect a lot who used to say, Kabhi apni line mat chodna. So always say that. So if this government has decided to walk on a path, you need to be steadfast. Now, if you are true on the path of social justice, interestingly, you know, you also put this information out that these notifications that when the uh, such lateral entries happen in various ministries, they have already said, that in 2016, 2019, 2020 MHA orders which said that you have to follow the quota and the reservation. These are temporary jobs. Yeah, even there, jobs. Even there you are pushing this social uh, you know, reservation. My point is everybody looks at social justice from the prism, you know, prism of representation but nobody says where is the merit. Are we keeping merit as the same benchmark? That means two people equally meritorious and one comes from an SCST OBC, cat OBC category then that person is preferred. Or are you saying that I have to fill it with an OB, OBC, SCST person, so even if that person is not deserving enough, I'll put them in. Then that you're, you know, it's not serving the purpose for me at all. Or that, that position stays empty. Correct. So that, so, no, no, you can't put that position, you can't leave that position empty because you need 45 people. So my question is, where is merit in all of this? One. Second is courage of conviction means, Rahul, we have to tell the government and we have to say turn around that a platform or a leader and a team that said that prided itself in its ability to communicate pass down a message, word a message, has faltered from the time of the farm laws. They have not been able to sell the concept like they should from I, the time I, of the... Know, I kind of slightly disagree there with both of you on this mm. point. Look, it's the opposition that constantly talks about bipartisanship. That the Modi government is not consultative in its approach. Mm. Right? Now you have a situation, look at the Wakaf Act, for example. That has been ad nauseum discussed in parliamentary committees. Modi government was not plucking something out of thin air. It is a very significant piece of legislation because if you see yourself as a secular nation and whether it is going to you know, devolve into a UCC at some point, etc. as the starting point, whatever, let's not get into that. But as a narrow intervention, it would have made you a more secularly robust country. Everyone knows this. There are reports after reports that have been tabled, discussed, except the bill has never come mm. through. The bill hasn't come through because some people have played a kind of sectarian politics. Okay. Now, you have a situation where the government obviously is saying we're going to pick our battles. 
I have began yeah. by saying that the government should not have rolled back because it is a sign of the words I use diffidence, vulnerability, and also heightened anxiety over electoral prospects. Yes, you can say that the government is looking wishy washy, but I am talking about today bipartisan consensus in the national interest. The last show yeah. that we did together on Independence Day, you made that point. Yeah. And I am taking that point forward. At what point, whether it's the opposition or the executive, sets aside its greed for power and talks about the long term interest now you can call me an idealist you, you can you say can that. call no, me no, no, no no you can say that uh, Rah rahul i'm but on there board. are plenty of democracies i'm on board with that you say, can't say no, musalman no 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 no, 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 no flames you you are saying that the opposition has to play up its responsibility what i am trying to say is with that 99 and the and with 26 different parties the indi alliance and the opposition why does it look far more coordinated mm. than at 242 and 220 plus in, in terms of no, no, in government? The NDA allies look a 5 MP party like LJP Paswan, Chirak Paswan is making so much of noise and uh, it is being seen that it is he was the one Why who pulled us the today? commander. On Anand, the, no, three no, big rollbacks. I'm, I'm three big I'm rollbacks when the BJP had 303. Uh, I'll tell you which ones. Mm. CA went into cold storage Correct. for five years. The labor Code. NRC gone. gone. Farm laws. This is when the, sorry to say, this is when the NDA had three, three not three. I mean, so, sir, the BJP had three not three and the NDA had almost 350. No, no, so, so Can then, I just so, come in? So, you know, so this is the question that this is raising. If it, is this about the strength that you have in parliament, the point that you're making? Or is this about being able to... To control so, the yeah. narrative. So, how you push yeah. your agenda, Correct. you have to control the narrative. You know, one of the single biggest criticism of the BJP how in you power control the narrative? is that they don't know how to communicate no, or how, control the narrative. Says Just this? one second, if I may finish. The point is that, as they famously say, it's one thing to be in government. Government, it's another to know how to govern. You know, the no, BJP. I don't think they don't know how to govern. See, if they're the BJP, no, no. Article the BJP 370. Yeah, yeah, 370, the yeah, Ram Mandir, so they've managed, managed, some, several, yeah. no, no, they've managed some big laws. successes. So in this case, especially as had, far as their age old agendas but are concerned. Can you put a finger on simple but, part? Okay, if you are going to. It, this, it came from the government, right? The NTA, look at how they handled uh, testing, the paper leaks. How did they. Ha they made a botch up of it. And you're looking at it but and saying, there was a problem are you, there. are you, no, 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 those kind of, no, 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 look, 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 look at, Anand, you know, can you not hiccups. see on 16th of June, I will never forget these dates, 16th of June, the education minister of the country comes out and says, all is well, 20th of June, he says, all is not well. You know, Anand, we have a crossroads now, um, despite the fact that, yes, this is a Modi 3.0, we are at a crossroads where Narendra Modi is facing the question or the BJP and the NDA is facing the question of what kind of a government this is going to be for the next five years. You know, Narendra Modi is obviously very, very good at surprising people, right? Mm. And one of those surprises I mentioned, which was the UCC, yeah. the secular code that he mentioned. He has not never mentioned that before. So is he being, is he going to be you able to spring another surprise where people don't no. see it coming? Sh or, Shivani, or, Shivani or his capital hmm. is something that is a little bit in danger. No, Sh Shivani, I'll tell you, it, it's not about in danger or not. Yeah. Yeah, even last year, last year, yeah, Independence UPA Day. No, no, last Congress year, Independence Day. One second. One second. Can, uh, last year, Independence Day. They did spoke, better. No, no, last year, Independence Day, he spoke about the UCC. It's not that year. He spoke about the population control law. Where is that law? Nobody is speaking about it. Why? I'm just saying, when you are committed on a path, no matter whether you have 303 or you have 242. So why do you think they're the, unable to the, do it? So that's that's where I'm saying that this courage of conviction and this thought process, that absolute clarity of what we want to do, has to come not just at the top but at every level. It doesn't seem to be at every level. I think and it's somewhere, not a when there somewhere are there are certain. Interests, excuse yeah. me. When there are vested interests who are mm. willing to actually launch violent agitations, mm. okay, backed by certain forces. Them. Every government, whether it is in the West, right. even yeah. America, will have, down. will have You know, I will think, Anand, you raise a very good point, but I don't think it's a conviction issue. If there's any party that is very true to its convictions, I mean, look at Article 370, Ram Mandir for decades, it's the BJP. I don't think it's a matter of conviction. I think they're just not in control uh, or See, of the law and order situation, first of all. 
is that on Achilles heel that the opposition has been able to exploit time and again. Farm laws is a very classic example. CA is a very classic example. And we all said, even at that time, I remember saying this, the opposition or those forces that want to scuttle these things have drawn no, but blood. But it's a straight veto. But, but it's no, 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 you can say this. You can say this. When you can say this in the first four or five years. Indira Gandhi responded with Misa. Don't forget. You can say this in the first four or five years, first four or five years of this government in power. You can say that. But when they were able to manage this with the Supreme Court judgment in 2019 with 370 abrogation, they were, they, they allowed the capital to be run right. Which on, is why on, I come back no, to why, my point. No, no, why did they don't know how to govern. No, no, if they, no, I don't think they don't know how to govern. I have a feeling they are losing, losing sight of certain aspects or somewhere see you think some of these allies would make as much noise as they are making if it was already not decided that listen we're going to put this out there but we're going to bring it up only in the winter session of parliament now if it is a long game that's being played then some of us are not seeing it the other aspect which errors like this which adds on to a certain sense that builds yeah. a sense that this government is vulnerable this government is anxious is clueless i don't think so i don't think pm modi would be someone after so much of governance and facing so much, would lose sight of vision or would not know how to Maybe work on his allies. Maybe not individually him. No, but even, I even with the, the team. I just feel that the there are, they need, to, cert certainly has they need to tighten some nuts and bolts. And hmm. that needs to happen sooner than later. That's where I feel this is, this is where it is. And this is giving the opposition some hawa. We never know. Maybe in two months down the line, this whole thing about things moving away may just swing back with, with one or two wins. I think they need a few elections to go their way. No, they need one or two wins. I don't think even... See, I'll tell you what. We forget that between 2019 and 2024, even before 2019, the BJP had slipped. They had lost a lot yeah. of states and everybody thought they were vulnerable. They were not. They came back. So losing states, not losing states, a lot of them within the BJP or otherwise would say, okay, Haryana doesn't seem to be going their way. Maharashtra, the khichdi that they made, you can discount you know, it. Let's not talk different. even. Let's not talk even before Bihar. We forget even Delhi. Let's not even talk till about Bihar next year. They will have reversals. Every government looks at uh, looks at all of that. My point is that you need to somewhere. I feel that they are not one thinking through, and when they step out on one way, then you got to walk the whole path. You can't just. Stop and course correct, especially certain no, aspects sorry, like this. But, uh, just very quickly, and, and that in, I don't know why this is. I, I think that you have to look at nation building as a cohesive exercise. You can't have one set of people in this democracy constantly picking at fault lines. Mm. Okay, this entire card, OBC, ST, uh, SC card, is being played deliberately to stop. The amortization of a particular vote in one party's favor. Hmm. Okay, so it is practice versus practice. One one bunch of people have said, "Look, the BJP has been able to build these social coalitions. How do we basically break these social coalitions?" And they're doing Great. it. It's, it po it's point of view on the Supreme Court observation on creamy layer. On uh, See, you know exactly the uh, reservations, they could you should be articulating their point of view. To to communicate. I don't even know where the BJP stands no, they've on come it. come out and very clearly said they are against the uh, Supreme After Court After a few days, so uh, so then how are they different from the opposition? Rahul. But See, they didn't bat for that. Ra Rahul, they only came out and said that, look, at the end of the day, we need Th to have... That's political expediency on their part as well, no, Rahul. Let's it's, face it's, it. No, See, I, I'll tell I, you what. Here, here, is a, here is a conviction. That I, I'm just asking, if we wake you up in the middle of the night and ask, should merit be compromised for reservation? Our answer is very clear, no. At least so much. I'm sorry, but there are many yeah. people who believe it should Yeah, no, be. I'm just I'm saying you have clarity there, no, that you will not want to compromise on merit. You are willing to give social justice but not at the compromise or uh, compromising merit and quality because in the long run that's going to hurt our country. There's clarity. That clarity when you're going to react to questions and answers, that's what is missing, Rahul. That's why I'm saying that that is not a good signal. Was that clarity there? When the three farm laws were being pushed by the government, yes, it was. It was. What happened? But the communication wasn't great of at that course. time. No, I mean, they no, didn't no, implement no, no, it no. right. No, no, the no, communication no. was terrible at that time. They're doing a little bit better no, when I, it comes I'm to sorry, communication. Sorry In to fact, say, I'm, the NTA this is, this example. This is exactly the problem. This is the shifting of the goalpost that is happening within newsrooms. No, mm. no, no. Where we are giving far too much importance to non-state actors to disrupt agendas by saying, oh, the government did not communicate properly. Do you know the farm laws mm. were not the product of one person's imagination? Mm. Do you know the number of reports? Do you know the great people who have been given the Bharat Ratna had proposed this? Rahul, Do you know that the opposition on the had adopted don't it? Don't read those reports. I'm Let's sorry. be honest I'm about sorry. it. I'm Let's sorry. be this business real about this. constantly saying 
that look, the government needs to put out advertisement after advertisement no, after advertisement. No, I'm not advertisement, talking about advertisements. Nobody we needs government ads either. Okay, okay. We will only be putting out advertisements. I believe, Anand, the recent NTA example was an example where the BJP or the government have corrected how they communicate. How many press conferences did the education minister finally do? Hmm. How many press conferences did you the UPSC... You yourself the NTA was bungled? No, it was. No, it was. But no, no, no. They, in the sense that Chitri it was an unfortunate instance of what had happened. I don't think it was that big a deal, but I think I saw first signs that the government mobilized itself and said, okay, we are going to be on top yeah, of things. Shivani, they did press conference Shivani, after press here, conference before narratives could my, be spun. Here's my, the farm laws, uh, you know, we could discuss their merit over and over. Uh, the ordinary individual on the ground, Rahul, doesn't understand what the farm laws See, are. See, here's, here's, here's the thing. When it comes so to... So, if you are... I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay now, 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 between one, the two of you, let me, are, let me get a word in. One bunch of middlemen no, no, had a problem no, no, with the no, no, farm no, no, laws. No, no, let me get a word in. We know the problem. Okay, okay, one, one, one second, one second. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you are here's communicating... No one no, no, came here, up in here, the South, East or West. One second. Here's the thing. How much of conversation... If you're communicating to those who set opinion, then you please... Okay, okay, okay. Just one second. How much of communication happened before the Ram Mandir issue happened. There were so many. How much of debates happened? 370? How much of, 370. How much of debates? How no, much of a debate? No, no. The whole Did you know 370 no, was happening? Of course. None of us knew. No, no. 370 happening. No. The aspect that of that... That was complaint, wasn't the, it? One second. The aspect of 370 needs to go was being debated, spoken about on the in the in the homes, in the newsrooms for at no, least a year it's before it's before no, it went... Be, much before that. Ma for decades. Yeah, much for... Really much of, why, 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 the farm laws the issue, were opposed one by second, a Rahul? small segment of middlemen who were pretending okay, to be farmers. Okay, now, just, just and they were successful because you had bunches of people in various... No, Rahul, I'll, tell, various, I, I'll uh, tell you what, the government, if the government's intent was so true, then the government should have ensured that one and a half states was trying to protest and create a ruckus about it. Where were the remaining 27 states and other union territories trying to create a mood for the farm laws? There were several people no, no, came out it didn't happen. I'll tell you why. Because the, the farm, farm laws, laws, the mahal, the farm laws, the conversation was not happening in the homes that these laws are good for the country. It did not happen. It was pushed. What I'm trying you to say to is... Simplify well, it yeah, one, yeah, you have to simplify it. Yeah, you have to simplify it. Two, okay. you have to be sure. You know that the opposition is trying to do something. You have to outthink the opposition because that's why you're in government. This outthinking of the opposition is not happening. How and much I think talk has been going on on this issue of communication? Let's yeah. take a very important example, hmm. MSP. Massive reform is required. We all know this. You can't be doling out MSP, right? How much conversation has happened from the government on MSP? Press conferences, articles have been written by their spokespeople, this, that, the other. Is anyone ready to withdraw mm. MSP mm. or to cut it back or to rationalize it? Can I, can I just come in, Rahul? Subsidies. I think you are subsidies. Subsidies. You are, of course, of uh, look, course look, look, you know, look, articulating look, the frustrations look. that we have with the Indian no, political no, system. No, no, but I'm, can I ju just listen, one second? I'll, I'll allow you. My point is that you cannot, in a democracy, ek hat se taali nahi You are absolutely right main about it. I believe. I believe. But you don't see this hat of one 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 you know, first thing is, after being in power for 10 years, I'm sorry to say people get sick and tired of you blaming opposition with the numbers that you have had. This, this kind of victimized, victim mentality needs to end. It is not buying you any more voters or sympathizers. Uh, I think you've misunderstood but, that I'm not no, talking about no, only the for, political opposition. There you. are vested interests. Of yeah, course agree. we understand there will always that. Be. We have to talk about these vested no, no, interests. There will, there will always be. Achha, listen, all, all right. It's okay, to the lady to and, and the gentleman, we, 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 we were planning to talk about two issues. We've just stuck on one particular issue. I'll just issue. finish in 30 seconds. Sir. We know there are vested interests in, in India and overseas. We know that the opposition is not interested in certain things that you may be interested in or the government may be interested in. No, a secular it's not India, about me. they're, this is they're about not. Our no. When he says you, is generally. I'm generally, just saying, yeah. Rahul, a secular India, a merit oriented India, they're not interested in it. Let's make our peace with it. They may do certain right things. UPA did do certain right things when they were in power. They are playing very clearly, so single-mindedly, focused. Okay, so are okay now we've got to pause. No, no, we, we've got to now. The we, government we needs to play time. the government. We are over time. We've got to pause so now. So we end now. by saying the people deserve the government they vote. Uh, not Simple. just the, not so just so the let's government. No, 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 no. no, 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 no when is there this government going to deliver? There has to be, there has to be, there has to be, if you are in government, then, no, no, the onus of running the parliament, running the government and governing is on the government and not the opposition. Getting your agenda through is on you. And they have to do 
do it in a far more convincing manner than they are doing right now. And perhaps somewhere the trust largely of the voters is also that the person who can do it right in the current scenario is Prime Minister Narendra Modi, whether they get their act together or not. We are here on take three, so are you. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.